Hi guys, this is Phil from Straight Jacket Productions. You're in the Geek Room, and this is another Mask Ultimate Upgrade Kit. Okay guys, we're getting to the meat of things now. This is the biggest new kit that I'm releasing at the moment. Um, so, it's actually for Bulldog, you may have seen. Uh, I've got a Bulldog behind me here. This is the kit. It's a huge kit. Full redraw of the original stickers. Um, so we'll have a look at this page. Um, I'll just show you my bulldog first. This is my original bulldog. Unfortunately, it's in a, it's in pieces. And the reason it's in pieces is because there's a really common problem with bulldog, and that is this, this bit's broken. Now, obviously, in the past, distant past, I've tried to, to glue that. Um, unfortunately, it never works. Uh, there are replacements around. Um, I'm yet to receive one, so I bought this uh, donor vehicle. <clears throat> what I did do, actually, with the donor vehicle, it, it, it's quite good in that um, the, the chrome is in much better shape than mine was. Mine was probably battered, but I'm into kind of restoring, um, restoring them. So I'd really like to get my old one, you know, back up, and then maybe use some 3D print parts to get this one fixed as well at some point but the chrome's in better shape on this one it's obviously been taken apart before because uh the, the piece i'm looking for looks to be intact i haven't actually dismantled it yet to check it looks to be intact um but it doesn't doesn't lock down properly and it's obviously been taken apart before because this has been put in the wrong way around oh there's a clue uh so uh yeah it's not on the screen but yeah you can see i've got some back windows these are prototypes the actual ones are, are a different color um, so, let's have a look at this sheet. Now, all of the stickers on this are new, I believe, apart from the very recognisable uh, arc that goes above the windscreen. Uh, I've been uh, trying to sort of bleach it in the sun, get the original stickers off as well, and uh, it, it's come up, like the colours come up, you can see the discrepancy between the original sort of blue-grey and the, and the now sun-bleached as well as yellowed colour but uh, you know I'm thinking of it as weathering hopefully the stickers you know hopefully when I get this this one back together uh, it'll, it'll look pretty cool um, the chrome of my original one I resprayed according to how I did it in my Rhino video um, uh, so they are downstairs in the garage curing at the moment um, when I get this together which will be in the hopefully well quick for you time because it'll be within this video hopefully uh, anyway so let's have a look at some of these um, new ones so that's the other sheet. There it is. Yeah. So these two up here, they're for the. Uh, I'll just show you on this one. They go either side of the rocket launcher. You've got your new rear lights. These bits, uh, they go inside the doors. These strips go around. I've got some prototypes on this one to show you. I wanted to do something to the to the fuel tanks. Um, I felt like I wanted something to go on there, um, but everything I tried kind of didn't. I tried chrome to match the chrome, but against the real chrome, it doesn't really work. I tried these sort of sandy colours, both of these, to sort of bring in those, and I, I've settled on the on the on the grey actually, the cab. It's not these are the shape, but they aren't the colour of the final things. They are here, so you can see they're they're much darker. Um, it's just to add a bit of detail really for those. Um, then you've got a number of these on both sheets, which fit like that prototype there on the inside of here as well. Uh, you've got the ever popular interior door cards. I don't think I've stuck them on, on this one. You've got uh, these to go on the actual bomb itself, like the orange bomb, just as like a little motor. You've got a little nice Lego in there. And this large one goes behind the seats. That's the prototype there. Uh, so when it's down, that's sort of another control bank. And there's a number of other control panels on the other sheets here to decorate the inside of, of this, as well as the ones you'd expect and stuff. There's also one to go, I'll show you on here, just because it's easier for the camera to see. In the centre, obviously you've got a new dashboard, which is, uh, there it is, yep, right in the middle. Uh, that goes there, and there's obviously one to go next to Boris here as well. The reason I'm not going to show you this one up close on the art board there is because I've become a bit notorious from putting Easter eggs in my work. Um, there are a number of Easter eggs, just for a bit of fun, in on this sheet, and there's also a little contest. Um, there is a code hidden hidden on this sheet, so if you buy one of these sheets and you 
decode the code and tell me what the message is and put it as a comment on this video. The first person to do that will win a prize. I haven't decided what the prize is yet. It may depend on what the person would like. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit of fun. So yeah, if you do buy one of my Bulldog kits and stick it on your Bulldog, um, hopefully you'll enjoy the Easter eggs and maybe you can find that hidden code and tell me what it says. I will give you a clue though, it is not in Cybertronian. Um, so, uh, obviously I've got a fair bit of work to do with this guys, so um, leave it with me. Hopefully I'll have a spanking bulldog to show you one way or the other. Okay guys, I thought that I would interrupt my own video by looking at bulldog in a bit more detail. Basically, my other one is already in bits, so I'm just gonna pull this one apart, film it, this might be helpful to anyone doing the same thing, and uh, and then cherry pick the best bits uh, of both bulldogs. Hopefully, put put it back together uh, in such a way that I have a good one. So these are my the bits I've re-chromed. I'm just gonna move them out of the way. <clears throat> so I've got a choice. I haven't done a particularly good job of that re-chroming, but actually these parts were near enough transparent before I. Uh, did that so right there's 10 screws under here so I'll undo those maybe skip ahead now there is further things to be removed inside in order to get to this awkward piece that we're looking for okay so let's pop that out right there's the base so it's a system similar to Rhino. This is uh, the spring for that button. It should be on there, I think. So I'll put him in there. Take these off. I think I'll use these because the chrome is, is marginally better than it was on my other one. So I've got another basket here. Oh no! Okay, so that's a pretty solid piece actually. Looks good. Uh, as ever, guys, give them a clean maybe, if you've got the opportunity. So let's have a look under this. All right, there's a spring. This is the. This is. The, oh, this. this one has, I think, been dismantled before. But let's see if the piece I'm looking for is intact. I think that it is. So all I need to do looks like is. Can we take this spring off here? Oh, that's gone. Remember where it went. Now the piece is hooked onto this mechanism. Try not to break this if I can avoid it. Not quite sure. Not quite sure why it wasn't working actually. Let's hold that in. Yeah, it's gonna be a I need to get this bit out. Yeah, it's gonna give me more flex at this end, so there we go. That's off now. How am I going to get it out? It needs to push that back in. Can I, can I just lift it through? No, because it's screwed in. Okay, so I'm going to have to take the cab off to get to it. So there's three more screws on the back of the cab. This one's got some prototype stickers on it, which you'll be seeing in just a moment. Things I need to get a bulldog together before I can apply the stickers. Because you won't need to take your bulldog apart to put this kit together. Uh, obviously I have one in pieces, but I'm going to put them on as if the, the vehicle is in one piece. Okay. Alright, let's take this off. There you go. There you can, you bugger. There we go, that's come off, fine. Hat off. Right, let's see. Right, there's the bit I want. It's held on just with friction. I'm going to try and prise it off that. Need another tool. Got a knife here. Oh, did you hear that? You see that? See the other side? I'm trying very hard to get this into camera, but I'm short of space in the speaker. Oh, there we go. Right. Tab's now free. There's the piece. There's the bit we want. Let's 
So, how's he coming out? He's obviously coming out from underneath, I think. Just need to get this bit out of the way. Oh, it's going to be fun putting this back together. Right, that bit's now free. Come on. Yeah! That's what I'm looking for. Okay. It looks alright. Oh dear, actually. <laughs> right, guys. I am a bit mystified. Now, looking at my original piece, obviously I've tried to glue that there, but there is this other piece which is, which is long missing on mine so that's not a lot of help so I've written to Omar who is our friend in Mexico that is doing some amazing things with casting uh, to ask for a picture of one of his so um, hopefully that will be on the screen now I'm what I'm wondering is is if I found an original piece with a manufacturing error it does look like this is sheared but putting it in the in the unit where it's supposed to go, which if I'm right it's like that, There's, there doesn't seem to be any purpose apart from perhaps the structural support for this piece, so I think I might try and either, I don't want to break it off, but maybe file this down so it's flat. Okay guys, I've, I've had a chat to Omar and he thinks I have indeed discovered a, a, quite a rare um, manufacturing error. In a, in a mask toy. I don't dismantle my mask toys a great deal, uh, except when they break, uh, and there are YouTube videos of guys who do a great job um, restoring them and stuff online, so I've made the call to show you against the white background. It's got this this lip which is forcing the hammer to the right. Can you make that out? It's forcing the hammer over to the right because of the slope that's on this extra piece inside it. So check your bulldogs, guys. You might have a might be able to get a better transformation by doing a bit of work. So I've been trying to just flatten this out. I'm not trying to break it off. I think it's okay where it is. It might even actually add a bit of structural support to this this strut, which is the one that pulls the springs. Uh, the spring for the chainsaw. I think it holds the chainsaw. So I'm just trying to get this to a flat. Right, I think that is as good as I'm going to get. So, uh, can you see that? It's not too bad. I'm just going to go and wash this off and wash my hands. Marginally, this one. Oh, that's a bit so, pop. It's back on right. Okay, uh, I think I have to put the cab back on this with my piece. So cab, I am going to use my original one, even though it's 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 battered and it's bleached and greyed. It was really yellow though. I and mean, this this one, as comparison, look, this one hasn't been treated. So I am going to use my my original one. Perhaps this. Uh, this sort of bleaching effect because it was in the sun for days in a, in a hydrogen peroxide bath um, and it, it, it's come up pretty good actually I'm pretty happy with it believe it or not so I'm going to get rid of that one okay. looks okay not much in it there either okay to get this this bumper out I'm going to use use this one. There's two screws that are just behind the radiator. That just pops off if you're careful. Okay, now this should free up enough for me to get this out. There it goes. That's in. Okay, we've got a cab. Next, our piece. Oh, sorry guys, just had a mining panic attack. I, I just went and washed this and then lost it straight away and I found it on the floor under my foot. Uh, luckily it has broken. Uh, so, where were we? We were putting back together. I've managed to get the bumper on there. So next up is to get this bit back in um, with my modified manufacturing error part. That goes in like that. And first of all, we're interested in getting the cab back on it. That flat for now. Okay, that's in place. This is 
my original part, number 1608, and here I've got number 2708, if there's a difference uh, to anyone that's interested in that sort of thing. Nice. Right, turn in. Got that. Okay, we've got a spring. Right. That's that bit where I want it to be. I'm just going to flex that in place. Next to the spring. Get on there. And presumably, where did it go on? Is it here? Okay. Nice. Next, it's back of the cab with the lid. That's as we'd expect it to sit. Back of the cab. Uh, I think it's quite important to get these bottom two tight and this nice and flush if we can. Still a bit of give there, but I've tightened the screw as much as I would like to. So, I've got my bottom piece I'm going to use. I've got my button, which is just going to sit in that rocker there. There's another spring as well. Going in one way, don't they? That looks to be it. Okay. Put them in that way for now. Okay. And this piece. I think this pin here it needs to go inside the button spring. So I'm going to try and line that up. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. I'm going to put these screws back. We'll get to the stickers eventually, guys. It's just these two pieces to pop on. That's going to go, and then that's going to go in there. Right, that was, that was not too bad. Right, that is an intact, working bulldog, which I am over the moon with. And finally, now, <laughs> I can show you these stickers I've been working on for absolutely months. Well, what a palaver that was. Um, so finally, here it is. And I have to say, look at that. Now I've got this weathering on it from the, from the sun. And the, but I kind of think it adds a bit of character to it, especially there. quite like it. Um, I've got, just so you can see a comparison, a direct comparison. That's the original sticker. And that's the new one. Obviously, this this one is 35 years old, so it's it's not really fair to to talk about the colours, but the fit, and obviously, just everything really. It's it's just a massive improvement. Let's have a quick look at the front. Got your new lights. Got a reg plate there. Obviously, new stripes, made to measure stripes. You work on the doors. These are the the ones to go around now. I, I, I'm pleased with them actually. I think they're just quite a nice little subtle touch. Um, you know, it, maybe if you mask this off and chromed these tanks as they are on Rhino, that that would be an even nicer addition. The straps to go sort of around a chrome fuel tank, but I tend not to, to paint mine. Uh, let's have a look inside. Oh, there's your windows on the back as well. So there's your door cards. New dashes there. I actually nicked that a bit. You also uh, yeah, square. These details are on the side as well, which you might not notice. And the other side is, is slightly different. So you've got a little one to go on this hatch here, a little bulldog one. There's the door card there, and the new dash open right the top. You can see the new one that goes in between the seats there. And the back. New lights, the central one as well. It's all awesome. Let's uh, transform it. This one still still has a bit of a bounce to it. I won't like flat. Okay, so these down. Let's have a look under here. Ooh. 
at that, you've got a big one to go on the inside of that, which you'll only ever see when you put Boris in here. <laughs> but I thought it was cool, it sort of kind of asked for it, it's kind of redrew this and then mirrored it and then added the holes for these, for, the, for him to be able to see out and, and this one which sits on this hammer here to, to prop that up. So let's have a look in the back, we've got these new floodlights on the outside and you've got a computer bank here which is sort of raised to be at an angle and then you can see all the new ones for the inside, both sides, these have got new ones, it's different colours on the other side, it's not just a direct copy, it's different colours, different screens, it's got a selection screen on it and this one's got I believe Dwayne and got the new ones here this is a big new one, this bank here. And then you've got one for each side of the launcher and the two little orange to yellow ones to go on here. They only go on one way, uh, they fit perfectly one way. If you have it if they look like they're going wrong, you, you put them on the wrong way around, so try and swap them. Oh, and the chainsaw as well on the front. That's it guys. Finally, a very unique bulldog indeed. Best stickers in the world and we know it has a, a manufacturing error on a, on a part inside I had to repair. It looks cool. I hope you like it. I hope I've demonstrated that you can fix up a beta and, and actually with a new set of stickers, especially ones as precise as these, it looks absolutely banging. Thanks very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves. All the best.